this video, we'll be multiplying with scientific notation. In part one, our focus will be with our answers greater than one and less than 10. So let's go ahead and get started. In our first problem, we have 4.49 times 10 to the 10th times 1.81 times 10 to the 10th. We talked about in the previous video about our bow tie method, where we are going to take our constant and multiply those together. And then we are going to multiply our exponents together. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start with the very first one. We have 4.49 times 1.81. And this is going to be on our left side. So when we multiply 4.49 and 1.81, we get 8.1269. Now, see this nice X? I like it because it reminds me that I'm going to join and then join together my exponents. So we have 10 to the 10th power times 10 to the 10th power. Now with our product rule, we are going to add our exponents, which would give us 10 to the 20th power. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And so our final answer in scientific notation is 8.1269 times 10 to the 20th power. We notice that this problem, we don't have to move our decimals because it falls in between 1 and 10. It's greater than 1 and less than 10. Let's go ahead and try another one. Let's go ahead and get rid of this example. And our next, I'm going to keep my bow ties here just to remind me. Next example, we have 1.83 times 10 to the 10th power times 3.9 times 10 to the 10th power. So let's go ahead and get our integers. 1.83 times 3.9 times 10 to the 10th power times 10 to the 10th power. So 1.83 times 3.9 is 7.137. Times, then we are going to, with the product rule, we're going to add our exponents, 10 to the 20th power. Pretty easy, huh? So when we're multiplying each expression, remember this little bow tie method? Um, it's been something that has helped my students tremendously over the years. And so let's work on a third problem. Our next problem, we have... 4.4 times 10 to the 9th times 1.9 times 10 to the 7th power. Here we go. 4.4 times 1.9 times 10 to the 9th power times 10 to the 7th power. Now, 4.4 times 1.9 gives us 8.36 times 10 to the 9 plus 7. Using the product rule, 9 plus 7 is 16, 10 to the 16th power. And our last example, our last example is going to be one of the most fun all right, we're having a little bit trickier decimals. So let's have 1.3 times 10 to the sixth times 3.09 times 10 to the third power. So 1.3 times, and when I put parentheses side by side together, it means multiplication, times 3.09 times my exponents of 10 to the sixth power times 10 to the third power. Let's put parentheses on both sides. So when we get 1.31 times 3.09, I could use it on, do it on a calculator, or I could do it by hand. Calculator's a little bit faster. 
it'll be 4.0479 times, and what do you think this is? 10 to the ninth power. Mm-hmm.